Welcome back to the FPS game. We're going to make our game into multiplayer in just one video. And you can just download the whole entire project down in the video description as a asset. And for now, let's create a uh, name. For example, I don't know. A random. And we can just join. So this is the multiplayer game. We obviously have the one player in here. And we have the other player in here. So obviously for now we only have the hands. We don't have the actual character. But we're going to fix that very very soon. We also have this glitch right here. Which we're also going to fix in a future video. But for now this is our goal. The goal is to get two players working and playing differently. And this is what we have in here. We have exactly that. Okay, so the way you can build the multiplayer system is by using a photon network. So this is the photon. What you're going to do is just sign up, create a new app. After you sign up, just select photon punt. You can name it whatever you want. Just Jeff. That would do fine. And then just hit create. So after you hit create, we have Jeff in here. And then we have this app ID. So what we're going to do with this app ID is just hit copy, go back into Unity and uh, go into the package manager. So in here, you want to have this pun to free. This is the website that you can download the pun to free. I'll make sure to leave this down in the video description. And then after you do that, obviously import it and you want to locate the Photon settings. So go into Photon, Photon Unity Networking and inside the resources folder, you should have a player settings or a Photon server settings. And all you have to do is just paste the ID in here and then you're done. Next, you want to do some scripting. So what I did is go into canvas create some simple things so this is the name of your room what you want to do is create a simple button and then a simple input field this is the script what i'm going to do is just delete everything and i'll write it back so this is the blank script that you are going to start up with. So the first thing that we are going to do is obviously import the library. So just do using photon.pun. Then we are going to also need a using photon.realtime. And then change this mono behavior into mono behavior callbacks. So this is the start. Then what we're going to do is get a reference of that text field. And to do that, we are going to need unity engine dot UI and then public text room name. OK, this is the room name. Then after we create a room name, we just we need a awake function. And inside the awake function, we are going to call photon network dot connect using settings. After we create the awake function, we need a public override void on connected to master. So we're going to use this to connect to the lobby. Next, we are going to say photon network dot join lobby. And after we join the lobby, we just want to print joint. So now that we are joined, we can connect to a specific room. After we create a unconnected to master, we need a click method that gets activated when we press the button. So just create a public void on click method or whatever you want to call it. Inside the on click, we just want to tell the photon network to join or create a new room. So once you create a click method, we need to call photon network once more and join or create room. So this takes in some parameters we are, which we're going to create right now. The first one is room options. So room options options is equal to new room options. The room options must have a options dot max players. And since we have the free plan, the max players cannot be greater than five. Next, we need a nickname for our player. So photon network dot nickname 
is equal to let's call it player plus random dot range zero to one million i don't know one thousand then after we define the nickname we want to give this some parameters so since we want to join the same room we can just call it something like room one or whatever you want to call it then what we want to do is mention this room options so just pass in room options in here and then the type lobby has to be set to type lobby dot default so this is the on click method and after this we just need one final method and that is another override method public override void on joined room so once we create a on joined room all we have to do is call photon network dot load level obviously we pass in a level we're just gonna pass in a string for now public string level name and we can pass in level name down here so this is the one script that we're going to need to start the server so we can save this go back into our scene and we should end up with something like this so we should have a room name and a level name so the level name should be the same as the scene name so we can copy the same name paste it in here and the room name should be this text right here so we can just drag the text drop it in here and then just hit play give it a name and we should see into the console showing joined if you've written this correctly then we need to go into our actual gameplay world and we should do some changes in here so first we should have a folder into our assets called resources inside the resources we should put our player prefab so this is my prefab you can download this into the video description down below and then the one thing that we are going to need in here is a photon view the way we add this is just add component photon view then what you need to do is go inside the movement script inside the movement script just paste in using photon.pun next thing you're going to need is a photon view reference and then you should use the photon view inside the fixed update next thing that you're going to need is go into the character script and since this script uses the camera we need to just disable that camera the reason we need to change this script as well is because this script has a reference to the camera so go into the script use the photon pun get a reference to the photon view and then inside the awake function all we have to do is say if photon view is mine and then we set the camera game object to true also we set the camera game object to false into the prefab if this is too much you you can just go ahead and download the whole package down in the video description the very last thing that you need is that you need another reference into the camera look since this also takes in input so again just import the photon pun get reference to the photon view and then inside the late update or any type of update just add in if photon view is not mine return so that's all you have to do in here then you need to do one last thing and that is to create a some kind of a game manager so inside the game manager all you have to do is use another photon pun library and then into the start just instantiate it the one thing that you should keep in mind is you should instantiate it using the photon network and then inside this instantiate you can just pass in a prefab we sh we need a prefab name so just call it player dot name just gets in the name then you need a spawn position a quaternion i just left it identity and then you need a zero into the end as a fourth input and then we're done you can just hit play and then it will give you a million errors as we can see in here you can't instantiate before connecting to the server and then what you can do is go 
file build settings and just build it so i hope you like this video i i don't think i'm going to keep building this just because i downloaded some pre-made assets and i don't know how the code works i'd rather build it myself i don't think i'll i'll continue this and thank you for all of your support we'll be back very shortly with probably another video on the fps series maybe we try to build it in our own from the ground up and uh thank you for watching one more time and uh we'll be back with another video